Hey guys, it's Police Puppet, and today I'm going to be talking about my Mario plush collection. There's quite a few plushies here, and I'm going to be talking about all of them, like how much they costed, where did I get them, how long I've had them, like stuff like that. So let's just get right into the video. First off is Mario. So, yeah, Mario's pretty cool. Uh, there's the back of him. Uh, I've had Mario for around two years now. I got him for $12 at GameStop, and... I cut his hat off so his hat can come off now. And this is what he looks like without his hat. And we can just put it back on. So yeah, that's Mario. Next is Luigi. So yeah, this is Luigi. Um, he's one of my favorite Mario characters, so yeah. This is what the back of him looks like. I haven't cut his hat off like I did with Mario yet. Uh, I just don't want to risk breaking it. Anyways, uh, this plush costed $18.99. So, quite a lot more expensive than Mario. Uh, I got him at this anime shop, which also sells Mario plushies. So, yeah, there's Luigi. Next is Toad. So, yeah, I like Toad. He's pretty cool. He's in pretty good condition. I got him at the same time I got Luigi, which was a little under a year ago. So, yeah. He was at, I think, GameStop for $12. I'm not really sure. So, yeah, there's Toad. Uh, I also have this mushroom, uh, I got him yesterday at Best Buy for, uh, $8, he's a keychain, so, yeah, there's that. Next up, I have Bowser, uh, he's really big, uh, he's really hard to hold when I'm filming, which is a little bit annoying, but, uh, he's still really cool, I like the shell, the spikes are really good, and I also have... Bowser Jr. It's pretty much the same as Bowser, just like smaller. There's the shell. And yeah, he has this bib. Uh they they have a really hard time standing up on their own, which is really annoying when I'm trying to film. But yeah. I'm not sure how much they cost individually because I bought them at the same time. Uh but combined they're around seventy dollars, which I think is overpriced, but uh whatever, they're still really good. So yeah, that's Bowser and Bowser Jr. Next I have Nabbit, and this is the newest plush I've gotten. I got him yesterday, along with the mushroom from earlier. Anyways, I got him at that same anime shop that I got Luigi, and I also got Bowser and Bowser Jr. from there, I forgot to mention that. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is Nabbit, there's his bib. Unlike, unlike Bowser Jr., Nabbit's bib is actually stitched to his face, so you can't take it off. Uh... You can actually take Bowser Jr.'s bib off. Uh, I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but... Anyways, there's just this bag. It's filled with, like, fluff or something. There's some mushroom on it. Anyways, yeah, that's Nabbit. Uh, I have an idea that I'm going to use in, in a video, so, yeah. Next up, I have Koopa and Kamek. So, Koopa, he's pretty basic. He's just your average Koopa with his shoes and his shell and yeah he's just koopa and then there's kamek he's pretty cool he has his wand stitched to his hand his hat just the back of him and his glasses you can actually see his eyes that are behind his glasses like that that's really that's a pretty cool detail uh you can actually cut kamek's glasses off if you want to i don't know why you would want to anyways uh I got both Koopa and Kamek for my birthday last year. Uh, I think my dad just like ordered them offline online. Uh, yeah, there's Koopa and Kamek. And here is all my Yoshis. So let's talk about blue, light blue Yoshi first. Uh, yeah, this is the Yoshi I've had for the longest. Uh, I've had him for almost a year. Uh, he, I got him at GameStop for twelve dollars. Just like Toad and Mario. And he's sitting down. Uh, I kind of prefer it if he was standing up so I can make, make it look like he's walking. Uh, it's alright. I like him. Next, I have Green Yoshi, Normal Yoshi, and Red Yoshi. I got both of these at a claw machine. Uh, I just saw these at a claw machine. I was like, oh, I don't have these. I'm going to win them. And so I did. I haven't used them in videos yet. I just can't think of a way to add them into a video. I'll think about it. Those are my Yoshis. 
Last up is Petey Piranha. Uh, I've never used him in a video. I might never will. I might. Uh, I'm not a big fan of him. I just saw him at a thrift store and I just decided to buy him. He was like a few dollars only. He was really cheap. You can kind of use him as a puppet. You can just go like, hey. So, yeah, that's pretty funny. And, yeah. So, those are all the main Mario plushies that I, like, actually use for videos. But I have two different types of Mario. First is this weird, like, small Mario. Here's normal Mario for comparison. He's pretty small. Uh, I want him at a claw machine. The same claw machine I got the Yoshis from. Uh, yeah, I think he looks really cool. He's kind of bad quality, though. But, well, what can I expect? It's from a claw machine. And I have Big Mario. This Mario is huge. Like, look at the normal Mario for comparison. He's This guy's like three times the size. This guy is huge. In fact, he's meant to be a backpack because he has straps. But why would you ever use this as a backpack? Like, you can't even fit anything in this stupid zipper thing. Anyway, uh, I don't remember where or how much it costed because I've had this for like as long as I can remember. So yeah, it's very old. It's like the first Mario plush I ever got. So, yeah. And this is what they all look like together. So this is my whole entire Mario plush collection so far. I am going to continue collecting Mario plushies, probably for a really long time. So you'll probably see a part two to this uh, next year, maybe even later this year, I'm not sure. So yeah, this is my Mario plush collection. I really like collecting Mario plushies and I especially like using them to make videos. So I'll be collecting them for a long time. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.